even the BlackBerry people, they thought the same thing. And at first, when all the smartphones came, people said, we are not going to use it. Who's going to really go use those touchpads? But then, time has changed. The game has changed. So a hard trend is something that can change your industry. It may look stupid right now. It may look negligible right now. It may look uh, that something look like a soft trend. You may also say it's a soft trend. It's not going to make much difference. But then, as leaders, you need to have the due diligence to separate what is hard trend and soft trend. And it requires a lot of knowledge and information and application too, and a lot of discussion between people to share these ideas and see what's coming. And futuring is pretty essential, as you said, what is the change coming? As leaders, we need to have the ability to understand what's coming, what's next, what's next. Because the more you're prepared for the next, the more you can manage the next. Otherwise, if you don't know what's coming, you will be part of the change and probably you may get disrupted. So what's coming, what's next? For that, we need to apply our imagination. We need to also look at two types of thinking. One is futuring, but imaginative landscape. You know, think what what the possibilities are, what could change in the future. Or the second could be scenario planning. What can go likely wrong will definitely go wrong. So what can likely go wrong in the future? You can look at different scenarios and look at what's what's the best options that we have. So that we are prepared right now. So when a crisis appears. You don't need to go panic because you've already looked at those scenarios and you've devised your answers much beforehand.